Hello everyone. So today I want to share something in case you are using Beamer or Beamer, then hopefully you will find this video useful because I just want to share my approach. Now, I have been using org mode uh, Beamer and this is actually applicable for org mode LaTeX in general. There is actually a decent community and in fact a lot of people use uh, not just org mode but LaTeX and also Beamer to make uh, presentations and this is something that, that I've realized uh, and I think it is good but when it comes to expectations I think if you're using Beamer you should uh, keep in keep keep this thing in mind and again same for org mode and LaTeX that although you can do a lot of wonderful things in it but you are not really able to you cannot really compare it with uh, those uh, powerpoints that you create with animations and you know things floating around uh, because uh, eventually you're creating a pdf file with different pages and uh, what happens on the next page is something that you can control uh, and in my presentation although i have done a lot of work i do want to like add some uh, not really animations but i do want to show few elements uh, one by one for example if i show you this particular uh, part of the slide now in this particular case i have this uh, you know slide where uh, i have some text then i have this uh, first bullet point now i can press page down and uh, i can keep on pressing it it will of course you know show the next item uh, after like a while but uh, this is not really going to work uh, if you're using uh, because the way it works is using this uh, this, this particular uh, overlay let me show you let me show you very 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 quickly so if you look at this particular part i'm using something like uh, this where it says uh, uh, before the bullet before the uh, listing you can say uh, overlay plus minus and that is how you can control the bullet points but apart from this you may want you may also want to add something like uh, a pause now this pause is something that i have mentioned before the way that the pause works is uh, if i maybe show you if i maybe proceed further in the slide let me just i'm just trying to find a place where i can uh, show you yeah this one for example if you want uh, to basically hide any anything basically it could be a text it could be the next block you can basically insert a pause like this now this works nicely but the problem is that if you combine uh, pause along with that overlay plus minus option and uh, especially if you are using uh, uh, basically a property here like uh, allow frame break so basically if i talk about i mean the allow frame break uh, let me just go back to this particular slide now basically if you want you can actually have something like uh, uh, I'm just trying to show you allow frame break uh, understand various uh, roles yep this is the correct part so basically sometimes you need uh, to ensure that uh, if you have uh, let us say too much content on your slide let me just show you this particular slide uh, what next after no not not this one jira for non-technical or maybe uh, maybe this one all right yeah this one so basically if you look at uh, this particular slide it has too much too, too, too much content like it has like so many elements and uh, here i can use uh, allow frame break and basically it will basically insert in the title one two three basically for each and every slide now the problem here is that if you combine allow frame break along with pause along with overlay plus minus then it will not work i mean it will either uh, not show the content at all or it will uh, probably skip it uh, some, some of the elements so what i have been doing whenever i use uh, org beamer i try to mix these things if i'm using all allow frame uh, break I don't really use uh, anything else. For example, in this case, for example, should I work for Atlassian Partner? Let me just uh, try to add here a pause 
uh, or maybe m- maybe let us add not not pause or maybe we let us add pause let us see what happens so i'll basically use this so when you add a pause before uh, a particular text or block it will hide everything so let me just copy it and uh, let me just go to this should i work should i work okay i think this is it so basically here i want to add uh, let us say before the advantages a pause so ideally this uh, advantages and disadvantages should hide right and the next slide should come but this will not happen so if i just publish it again it will take maybe maybe 10 seconds maybe 15 seconds because it is doing a like lot of work okay i think now we are done let us see so basically the expectation is that uh the advantages would would come and then disadvantages would come but in reality it has uh hidden everything so uh this is of course not really working we can also try here uh, the uh overlay plus minus let us try to insert that here uh okay but this this is this will of course go before the advantages so i'll probably add here advantages and uh, maybe disadvantages so basically these blocks will display but uh, the individual bullet points will appear one by one and uh, let me just try to publish it one problem i have with overlay is that uh, uh it always displays the first bullet but not the other bullets uh ideally it should also hide the first bullet okay so this is this is good we have the if you look at the i'm just trying to show okay so we have the first bullet let us see what happens if i press page down again right it is not really <laughs> working so this is what i want to uh share in case you are trying to use overlay pause and frame breaks you will have issues and uh, i'm sure there is a way to fix it if you are using uh, i mean if you go to the text file and if you want to maybe modify it yourself i'm sure it i'm sure it will work there has to be a way or maybe there is no way I, i'm not sure but as a work around like always if something cannot be done then you just uh, uh, create an excuse that yes that is how things are uh, you should keep things simple um, so i would say that yes keep things simple when you are using org mode beamer and especially within beamer if you are doing something like this you will have issues and uh, yeah that is it i know um, this is not ideal but it's all right we love org mode we love latex and beamer all right that is it bye bye